Hello everyone! It's the end of week three of Mermaid, and I've got another batch of mermaids for you. About halfway through this week, I started to lose a bit of momentum. It's the third week, and that's pretty typical for me when it comes to month-long challenges. I still think I created some interesting and cute mermaids this week, even though I wasn't always feeling peak excitement levels. I know, it's super hard to imagine with my monotone voice that I have peak excitement levels. I'm going to go kind of minimal on the voiceover this week because I've got a sore throat and I can't talk clearly even on a good day because what are words? So it'll be a little sparse. So to start things off for day 17, we have a humpback whale mermaid. I wanted a good dynamic pose for this one. Some days I feel like a dynamic pose, some days I feel like static pose. You never know what mood I'm going to be in. But whatever the mood, I always try to keep some movement to the pose. The coloring was looking a little bit monochromatic, so I gave her orange hair that fades back into the gray-blue navy of her tail. On day 18, we have a Valentini Pufferfish Mermaid. Now, this one rivals the Narwhal Mermaid for my favorite mermaid of Mermaid. Ooh, that's hard to say. I just love how she turned out. I wanted her to be a little on the thicker side and have curly hair, like me. Um, but that's all I had envisioned for her in the beginning. I had a few requests for a Pufferfish Mermaid, and the Valentini Pufferfish is my favorite. So I had to go with that one, and the coloring ended up being perfect for her, so it all worked out wonderfully. Day 19 is a much requested anglerfish or lanternfish mermaid. Okay, so at first, I gotta admit, she looks kind of like Gollum <laughs> with those big eyes and the snaggle tooth. That's all I could think of, so I changed the shape and size of her eyes slightly and I gave her some nice hair, not the few stringy strands that Gollum has. This helped a lot and I think she still turned out pretty cute even though she does have a little bit of a creepy vibe to her. My favorite part of the drawing is at the end when I add the glow of her light and have it reflected in her eyes. Day 20 is a Mandarin Gobi Mermaid. I think this mermaid is even brighter than the Mantis Shrimp Mermaid, and that's saying a lot. Sometimes I use normal skin tones on my mermaids, and sometimes I bring the color of the tail into the skin tone of the mermaid, and that's what I did with this one, because I felt that with her tail and hair being so brightly colored, she wouldn't just have a normal skin tone. She's got to be blue like Yondu from Guardians of the Galaxy. Day 21, we have a betta fish mermaid. To celebrate my birthday, I made this a draw this in your style challenge on Instagram. Her coloring is based on one of the betta fish I had as a pet when I was younger, with a golden peach body and an aqua colored tail with stripes of royal blue. A very pretty betta fish. These are some of the most glamorous looking fish. They are like peacocks of the fish world with their long, flowy, brightly colored tails. And I knew I wanted to make one of the mermaids this month a Draw the Senior Style Challenge, and who doesn't like to draw glamorous mermaids, right? 
And it's not too late to take part in this challenge. If you want to draw this mermaid in your style, be sure to tag me on Instagram with the hashtag HannahStatenArtDTIYS. I will put the hashtag in the description so you can just copy and paste because it's kind of a long one and I do have an uncommon last name. Day 22, a sea turtle mermaid. Another highly requested mermaid. So I wasn't sure about how to design a sea turtle mermaid. Should I go with a mermaid tail but give her a shell on her back or should I go full sea turtle body? I decided on the latter and I figured I would use the angle she is sitting at to help me sell that design. The coloring was my favorite part of this design. I went with mint green for the hair and undertones of the skin and I used an overlay layer to brighten up the brown on her shell. Does it look like a sea turtle is eating a rather apathetic human? Yes, well maybe, but I still like the end result. Day 23 and today's mermaid is yet another requested mermaid, an axolotl. I love axolotls, they are so cute, especially the pink ones, and I was super excited to make my take on an axolotl as a mermaid. I don't know why I had the idea to make her into a 20s silent film star mixed with a 40s pinup model. Maybe it's because the little neck frills remind me of ostrich feathers and kind of that old Hollywood glam look. But that's what I went with and I really like it. So there you have it, week three of Mermaid. Only one more week to go on Mermaid. If you have any suggestions for sea creatures you'd like to see drawn as mermaids, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you'd like to see these mermaids daily, I upload them to my Instagram and Facebook, and you can check out the links to those in the description box, along with the hashtag if you want to take part in the Draw This In Your Style challenge on Instagram. As always, have a great day. Bye.